Yo, 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 it's Series the Bear here, and we're back again with another video from uh, Hitman 3 on my Let's Play. Now, we had just recently done the Apex Predator mission, and we are now moving on to the end of an era. We've got the Agent of Chain cinematic to go through first, so let's get that started. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all the Grey said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Well, that just get interesting. Is Dian gonna, gonna basically screw us over? And are we gonna be on our own straight to the end, or... Will it just be the two of us to take down the bad guys? Well, we'll just have to keep going and see what happens. So let's go into the mission in Chongqing. Probably saying that completely wrong and offending somebody by saying it, but hey-ho. I do try to at least say what's written. Even if I royally screw it up. Uh, so it's the end of the era. Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this. And I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. 
Needless to say, security is daunting. The state of the art server vault is biometrically wired to the facilities to overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Okay. Well, this is getting... <laughs> right. What are object... What? So we know what our objections are. Objectives. Objections, jeez. I can't speak. Okay, so we got two targets, Hush and Imogen. Okay, this is going to be fun. Planning-wise. Okay, starting points, train station. Smuggled items. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Okay, nothing. All right, well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm sure I would stand out if I had the clown suit on. <clears throat> Okay, I've heard people say signature shoot all the way. Jisoo, professional difficulty. Let's get rocking. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Yep, I know what I'm doing. I'm getting soaked in my suit. Ooh, train. Yeah. <laughs> okay, eliminate Hush and Imogen and hack the data core. Unavailable element. Eliminate all targets. Okay.
Ooh, pretty. They certainly have done well with how keeping everything in that zone. The feeling, the lighting, the mood. Even the sounds as well. Whoa. I have no idea what that was or where did that come from, but that sounded pretty cool. You shouldn't be out here with a bad influence spinster like me. You're going to be exhausted tomorrow. I know. Ooh, nice car. Okay, let's have a little look here. So we have camera moment, camera moments there. We have uh, thing with there. Target is in there, and target is there. So we're in fairly area. Ooh, we're in a fairly small zone. That's fine. Uh, we got five levels up and three levels down. I'm going to take it. He's going to be most likely at the top freaking floor, and she'll be down at the smack bottom. Probably. So let's get the camera out. We'll get this camera bit done and then we'll hit there. And then we'll go there. I'm just a humble tourist. <laughs> It's a rental car, in the name of Angus Pritchard. Okay, we got guards. about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring- So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Isn't the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. The VIP has access through the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. Ooh, lucky cat.
Alright, let's get that P-41 form. keypad. Okay. All right. Let's find out for him. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P-41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Uh, sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is mine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those... Shit, what are they called? The, the crispy ones? Yes, those, perfect. You know what? I'll get a double order. And uh, a plate of the pork bow ones. Okay.
Ah, I remember right. Good. Zero one one eight. Okay. No one's learning anything about him from that room. Let me tell you. Basically, spotless. Not even a cheesy airport book. Hey there, you can go right in. No, oh, I'm not supposed to focus the on the kitchen. He went straight to the restaurant. Find your inner self. Close your eyes. I'll give it a tour. Focus your mind on a discretion bonus yeah. on the paycheck. I'll give you updates. Sure thing. That's what I do. That is a calming bonus. Could you check my desk for me? I can't remember if I closed the file on it, and I don't want it to be just laying there if the VIP wants Yeah, well, I'm telling you to go have a look. So you don't want me to check me for having to be Good. Oliver, I'm right in insisting our guest needs his P41, right? Uh, no exceptions? Mm, yes. N no, no. No difficulties I can handle. I won't start a tour unless he's got it. What's today's code? Oh, 
definitely zero one something. Eighteen? Oh, yes. Got it. Zero one one eight. Suspicions. We're looking for that frickin' poison. You'd think it'd be out here somewhere. in the middle of the night. That was a bit of a hang up and I had to stay. I am 24 years old. Let's see if there's anywhere else. It was in there and I was blind as a bat. Nice. Okay, time to make the guy not feel so good. Hanging up and then doing that is not going to help you, man. Come on, hurry up and eat the food. After I finally realized where the freaking poison was. Come on, go eat the food. Go eat the food. Come on. Go, 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 go. That's it. Sit down. Enjoy that lovely food. Yes.
Good. Eat it all up now. Oh no, do you not feel so good? <gasps> That's a shame, I'll come and help you. Oh wait, come back. Oh no, he passed out. While I was trying to help him in my arms. Around his throat. Oh, you didn't drop anything. I'm not going to notice that I don't have hair anymore. <laughs> to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible M.O. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. How much do you think those I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. I need your P-41 to start the clearance procedure. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Okay, right. We are inside. Looks pretty cool. I like the fact that if they do get compromises, they can strip this down in 12 hours. That's pretty neat. Okay, so looking at the map, we have got a shit ton of camera stuff to do. Okie dokie. We got a thing we point there. Obviously, I'm not going to kind of wander too far. All right. Let's get the camera out.
Security protocol overruled. Access granted. Think anyone around here is that much of a You don't have clearance to open this door. If I were them, I'd be pretty thorough too. What if someone slipped through? Access denied. It would probably stay here for some time. You don't have clearance to open this door. Granted. Don't think I should have done that, but hey ho. Access granted. Never caught anything in the frisk, ever. I suppose that's why they're there. Preventative measures. Yeah, you gotta keep security tight. That's just how I like it. You know, Royce commended me for showing initiative yeah. in person. Congrats. Okay. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. 
It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without Access your authorization. Denied. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees. You don't have access to open this door. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. Okie dokie. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Roy- Oh, good. There she is. That's Hi, Imogen, Royce. Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Likewise. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Edgy. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. 
having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state-of-the-art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt, the guard in the lower left, is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term guard complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Yes, indeed. You don't have clearance Access to denied. open this door. I need a screwdriver. Ooh, and how lucky am I? What was that? A maintenance arm. Can I stick that in my jacket? Ah, boo. Okay. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Jeremy Bolt, 
I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective. Uh-oh. Let's retry that. Your employment status. Phew. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. It's Jerry. I think I've just been fired. I have no idea. I thought it was going really well. I like it here. I can't believe it. But who, though? A friend. Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see him then. Looks like we got some connection issues to the, the game. My internet's fine, so I'm guessing it must be a connection to the server side. Okay, we're through the vent area. On the ladder we go. Security protocol overruled. Security protocol overruled. Ah, there goes that idea.
The new emitters for the flash heat core maintenance are working like magic. So much faster than the previous system. There's no way you're getting through that door, 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Okay. I so did not notice that drop. We can't access the core before both targets are dead, 47. Okay, I gotta kill both targets. <sighs> Getting guard. Don't fret about telling your dad. He already knows, okay? Just focus on the job. Maybe you're right. Focus on the job.
You don't have clearance to open this door. Listen, I had this weird nightmare. I was at work. Do you have to breathe so loudly through your goddamn mouth? Do you need some saline spray or something? What's crawled up your ass? Ugh, I cannot believe we ever hooked up. The mechanism is way too easy to get to. Anyone could just disable. It's horrible. Why would anyone want to do that? Could you run through the simulations one more time? I need the demonstration to be perfect. Sure, I can do it again, but we've got all the markers and variables mapped. It will play out as predicted. Yeah, I know. I just have a lot riding on this one, and I want to get it right on the first go. This is not just about the future of the ICA. It's my future as well. First thing, bye-bye hush. And then by the way, I know you're waiting for your girlfriend to make up her mind about moving in, but you've got to leave that outside the facility. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Okay, so the guard is away. Okay. Good, that's Imogen Roy's dad. Take care of Hush and we can get to the core. You have to get rid of Hush before we can access the core 47. Okay, one down, and I now need to get out of here.
Rain, rain, nothing but rain. You can say that again. I wouldn't mind promotion to inside duty. In the block? Are you crazy? Don't you know they do experiments in there? Some supernatural brain shift. Supernatural brain shift? <laughs> I heard it's some kind of reach out to the homeless. Helping them to a better life. Ha! Okay. Crowbar is always handy. Just out the way. My family would be so proud. But what if I'm not there to see it? Why isn't the test subject in place? He's still in the bathroom, I'm afraid. Obviously. Why haven't you convinced him? I listen. Yes, I know. It would be a lot. That's him. Hush the bastard. Wow. He looks a lot older.
both targets down. Good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core 47. Okay. Gonna need to drop that auto weapon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just worried about the scan. What? But what? Scan initiated. Scanning all body systems. Scanning hormonal profile. Scanning chemical profile. Scan complete. Thank you for your patience. Perfect score on all parameters. You're very fit to perform. Okay, I didn't panic there. <laughs> hey. You don't have clearance to open this door. Oh, that proves a problem. I 
Aha. Oops, I accidentally windowed my computer. Turn on photocopier. No. <laughs> Okay, it's this way. You don't have clearance to open this door. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Victory is mine. I just love to know about Royce's project. I'm sure it's something brilliant. Could be. Her programming is it's like an athlete's body. Optimized Ooh, not being in that one. <laughs> powerful exactly where it's needed and so natural. Like, you see it and know that's exactly how it's supposed to be. The augmentation. I mean her weight. She's a mismatch of non-compatible forces. Must be not boy. Shy, but overconfident in a very bossy way. Being an introvert, Nancy can go definitely stuck in the work. I think I may be going the wrong way. I think I am. Damn it. Yeah, I just three sixty. Ah. Access granted. There we go. Access granted. Good, you're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. 
When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Oh, if it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Let's go for it. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. I missed that. We're blown 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go now. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. Personnel, breach protocol initiated. Warning, core overheating. All right, three three thousand on the XP there. All right, so we are up to level twenty now. We got a four star out on that one. It was an hour and 12 minutes. Definitely could bring that time down. <sighs> so that's the fourth mission done now on Hitman 3. If you like what you see so far, I know you're still watching. <laughs> Click that like button and subscribe for my videos. I will keep them coming as best as my mental state can handle. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.